I'm Erica Larkin, PGA teaching professional and author of A True Swing. A True Swing is all about committing to a simple, true swinging motion. A True Swing automatically produces a great hit if you let it. But so many golfers are in their own way. They're busy steering their shots, forcing the downswing and hitting at the ball and working so hard and getting inconsistent results. We can build a swing that's manipulation free and uses physics to our advantage. We can use momentum to guide the mechanics of the swing instead of muscle. That's the key to consistency. That's the key to unlocking your swing and taking your game to the next level. You can generate effortless power instead of using powerful effort and get better results. I know that you're going to be able to play this game with more joy, more consistency, and confidence when you discover and groove your true swing. It's time to swing true, swing you, and let it go. To make a true swing, you have to start by removing all the tension in your arms and wrists. That way you can stay manipulation free throughout your movement and let the club swing around you and automate a lot of the mechanics that can happen naturally in your swing. When you have tight arms and wrists, all you're gonna do is just slow down your swing, freeze up your body, and add a controlling aspect which doesn't help with consistency. So start with your arms dangling at your side and move your arms in a way that your wrist joint can flail. So if you really are truly tension free in that wrist, your wrist should be flopping around. When you feel this, you'll understand that your arm can move your wrist naturally. Now go ahead and take a golf stance and posture. Let your arms dangle in front of you. Turn your body back and through and see that your arms can respond to your body turn. Turn back, turn through, turn back, turn through. With relaxed, soft arms, they can swing and respond to your body motion. So if our body can move our arms naturally and our arms can move our wrists naturally, then when we hold onto the club with a good neutral grip and get that club face square, everything should be moving and responding naturally by starting with a great body turn. So very simply, we can automate a lot of mechanics of what happened in the swing both in the backswing and the downswing by just letting go, getting rid of that manipulation in the arms and wrists that so many people are guilty of. There are five phases to a true swing. They're called phases because they're not static positions. We're blending movement patterns together. We're blending feels together to create a seamless and wholesome swinging motion. So the first phase of a true swing is called the heave. We get the body turning back so that the hands aren't doing the work. We drag the club into motion, we heave the club into motion and create some momentum that brings us to the second phase, which is the tipping point. The club tips over at the top naturally up here. The wrists get pulled with it. Third comes the fall. As we finish the backswing, our momentum shifts to the target and we allow our bodies to fall with it and load up on our lead leg, which is gonna become the pivot post. Next comes the pivot. We pivot on top of that pivot post into our front hip, open up the body, and naturally produce some nice lag in the hands and wrists without having to hold it or force it to happen. Lastly, because of that wonderful pivot and relaxed wrist, the club is gonna to wanna to start swinging out and as it swings out, we have a natural release through the bottom to impact. Last but not least, you're gonna end up in a wonderful balanced finish position if you've completed those five phases of a true swing correctly because you're gonna have so much wonderful natural momentum, effortless power, it's gonna pull you to a finish without you even having to try. Five phases of a true swing. The heave, the tipping point, the fall, the pivot, the release. a true swing to meet your needs. I call it tuning. There's no doubt that every golf swing is a little bit different and everybody is different. 
your body size, your body type, physical limitations, and sometimes even idiosyncrasies in your movement pattern are just non-negotiable. So we have to work through those, and we can do so by using a tuning matrix. We can audit your true swing and then see what needs to be adjusted. It can be something as simple as ball position, stance width, grip position, alignment, or possibly even a little adjustment to your equipment in such as the lie angle or length. Once we've figured that out, you can make the adjustments as needed. Dial in and tune your true swing to optimize your results. In a true swing, our goal is to try to stay free of manipulation physically, but also mentally and emotionally. A lot of golfers fall short in their ability to do this and to bring their range game to the golf course or have it hold up under pressure. I've got some strategies to help you reap the benefits of what a true swing can do for you, but it takes practice. You have to work on relaxing your body, relaxing your mind, finding the proper happy mindset that allows you to just let it go and take time to build trust in your true swing as well as build trust in yourself. When you can see in practice that a true swing really works and you can build confidence in it, it'll be much easier to bring it out to the golf course. I know over time and with the strategies that I'll share with you in my book that you'll be able to come up with a way to not only swing true, swing you, but also just let it go. The idea of a true swing is a beautiful blend of old and new. What I've done is taken some classic concepts from golf instruction that date as far back as 1937, Ernest Jones, Swing the Club Head and I've combined them and validated them with a modern perspective and a 21st century understanding of physics. We have so much technology nowadays that we can track and measure what the club, the ball, and the golfer are doing. And it's really helped us understand why and how we can make a most efficient move possible at the golf ball. But what good is it if we don't have the feel and the imagery and the basic common sense teaching to help a golfer execute that? So that's where a true swing comes in. I've tried to take the best from simple concepts that have stood the test of time and blend them and validate them with the best of what modern science has shown us and taught us. And so together we have an efficient, free way of swinging the club that's hopefully easy to understand and definitely easy to execute. I know that a true swing is going to be the best combination of both old and new that you'll be able to find, the best explanation of that, and certainly easy to digest in a way that you can get out there, practice, and groove your true swing. It's time to unlock your swing and your game. Please visit atrueswing.com, buy my book, watch my videos and follow my blog. I'll continue to post new content to keep you motivated and on track to developing your true swing. Just remember, a true swing automatically produces a great hit if you let it. So swing true, swing you, and let it go.